Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. We have another exciting product come into Art of the Image. This is the Think Tank Photo uh, Retrospective Bag. So this is a um, kind of a satchel looking bag, which gives you a little bit of uh, security and knowing that people don't necessarily know you're carrying a camera bag. So anyways, let's get her open. We'll show you what it is. Where's my knife here? For those of you that aren't familiar with Think Tank Photo, they're one of the best camera bag manufacturers on the market. They've come up with some really innovative stuff. Um, I know uh, several of my friends over the years that fly a lot with their gear have used Think Tank's uh, roller bags. I think it was the airport bag. I'd have to double check the name on that. But um, that's been a big... A big um, favorite of theirs okay we'll get the box out of the way and there is our new bag as you can see it's a satchel like looking bag this is i believe they call this pine stone is the color so it's not black which is nice because it uh, doesn't if, if you're out in the sun your your uh, gear's not going to get really hot so they've got it in a uh, plastic bag wrapping here so this is how it would arrive to you we'll take it out of the plastic wrap and there you go, that is the bag. Nice, small looking bag. Now this will fit a DSLR and a few lenses, but also um, is pushed for, or advertised as being really great for a range finder or micro four third system, which you know what, in a minute we'll grab the GX7 and show you how it looks. So the front flap opens up like that. This is the first time I'm seeing the bag in person actually. Um, I looked it over online and it looked great, really nice padding on the uh, shoulder strap there uh, really nice quality on the uh, the canvas webbing I think that's canvas there for this for the um, for the strap so we've got some information um, from think tank in there got a desiccate uh, pouch to keep things nice and dry we've got some a a extra dividers velcro dividers that you can rearrange it how you would like it and um, Let's see here. We've got a uh, nice size in there. Um, we've got some pouches on the side here that we could fit either lenses in or various items. Looks good. Nice. I like how these corner flaps here, there's been some thought into the engineering of this because that obviously, when this is folded over, gives you added protection of um, things not falling out or weather protection. Um, and this, I believe, does come with its own um, weather bag, a poly, uh, like cover shell that we'll, we'll get to that in a second here. We've got an inner zipper here. We'll show you some photos of this as we're going along. And you can rearrange all the pockets inside as you would expect from a camera bag. The construction seems really nice on this. This, uh, I think this is a canvas um, material. But it's really nice feeling, nice weight to it. It feels really good quality, um, which is, you know, nice and important when you're getting a, a decent camera bag. There's a, a hand-carrying strap there, too. So what else do we have to look at in here? On the front flap, sorry, I keep turning this around on you. We have the front flap. I think this is our rain pouch. That's what it looks like, yeah. So on the front flap, we have that. Let me just double-check. So yeah, that's our rain pouch that pulls out like so. And then you can pop this over the top of the bag. Let's do it right now and see how it looks. So we'll close the bag up as if we had a camera in there. And I guess if you want to here, you can take this off of, it's got a little Velcro strap. You could take it off of that if you wanted to, although I'm not sure that's necessary. So. Let's see here. I think I put it on backwards, but you do get the idea. <laughs> so the rain, the, it probably goes to the front um, that way. There we go. So there's your, your rain strap, your rain cover, I should say. And it clips around under here and probably clips up. But yeah, you can clip it up with the um, 
tabs on here so it's clipping back on itself and keeping everything dry. So that's that there. And you know, I think I may have put it on upside down. I should read the directions. <laughs> because I'm thinking that it looked like it had holes for the, um, the strap. Yeah, there you go. I'll get her straight. So this comes up over here like this and forms your cover, allowing your strap to still be free in the side. And then these will lock on there. So there we go. There, you get a full show of the camera of the um, waterproof strap. I think this will come up, or waterproof cover. I keep saying strap. So that, that'll come up there and cover this over like that so you can get it all protected. I think I have that on right. In any case, it does come with a nice uh, waterproof cover there. So we'll take that back off. And as I mentioned, if you're putting that on and you wanted to have it detached, you can remove this totally from the bag. So that's it there. There is a uh, back zippered pocket here as well. Looks really nice. Um, I am very impressed with the construction quality of it. Uh, it seems very nicely built and um, very nice solid materials. Um, it just feels and looks like a higher grade bag very nice that way let's see just quickly i have the gx7 here and um we'll shrink the lens down i'm not even going to rearrange everything in here because it looks like i can pretty much pop that in there like that and um you could see it goes in there nicely and on the sides we still have room over here for another lens and there's room over on the other side for another lens. And obviously, I, j I just put that in as the, as the dividers were arranged. But if you played with the arrangement in there, you could get with uh, Micro Four Thirds, I think you could probably put four or five lenses in here with your body, um, depending on how long you were using, if you're using a long zoom or whatnot. I believe um, they show online that this will fit a full 5D uh, DSLR, Canon 5D full frame, with a couple of lenses, so you can under, you can see how much more you'd be able to put in there with Micro Four Thirds. So really nice looking bag. We're gonna um, do a uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll do another once I've had a chance to go over it a bit more and see how everything goes. I'll give you a full rundown of the bag um, as far as maybe I'll if, if, if make sure that I've done the proper adherement of the um, of the uh, rain bag. Which is, which is a nice inclusion there. Um, but the initial, uh, initial impression is a very nice fit and finish, very nice build quality, nice materials. Uh, I really like the strap. That's a really nice padded strap there. And I just think that's a, it's a really nice looking bag and inconspicuous. I mean, if you're out and about with this, um, on, this on your arm on the side of you, you're not necessarily, you know, if there's a pickpocket or something nearby, they're not looking at you thinking necessarily that, hey, that guy's got a camera bag or that, that lady's got a camera bag. This just looks like you're carrying a satchel. So that's a nice bit of security, a little bit of uh, incognito there for your camera gear. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave me a comment below. Uh, this is Think Tank. You can check them out online. It's Think Tank. Fo Let me make sure I got the right address. Thinktankphoto.com. And uh, I'll put a link below for this bag on Amazon. It's I think this one's in pine stone and all, that's this color, and in black. Um, and as a little surprise um, preview bonus, I haven't mentioned it yet, but we have a big photo contest coming up for June at Art of the Image. And think tank has graciously sponsored the contest so we will have three different think tank bags up for first second and third prize we're also having a full camera um, and I'm, I'm not going to um, let the cat out of the bag quite yet I'll give you a hint it was just recently announced a lot of people are really excited about it there's an X in the name and um, we have got that as our first prize so I'll fill you in in an upcoming video on what K 
camera is up for first prize for the June Art of the Image photo contest. It's going to be running on Instagram, so you don't need a camera. You can just use your phone, whatever. You can shoot an image with whatever you have, post it on Instagram, and we'll be judging them. Uh, you guys will be judging them. We'll look at who has uh, got the most likes, and then we'll come back and uh, have, a, have a peek at the who's rounded up the most likes and then we'll have our final winners selected from um, a few different judges i'm still uh, figuring out the judging panel uh be myself uh we may have fish in who i just did an interview with he's the tni host on twitter um and possibly maybe one of the fuji guys or something we'll still see who's going to be judging on that but exciting contest coming up um and we've also got a few other prizes i still got to tell you about too um that'll be bundled in with the first second and third prize so anyways i believe it's actually one of these bags we're going to be giving away it might be second prize on uh for from think tank so uh, stay tuned if you have any questions on the think tank retrospective five leave them below i'll try to get them answered for you and uh, we'll be back soon thanks a lot oh and i almost forgot i keep forgetting to mention it at the end of the videos on instagram where uh the art of the image because i wasn't able to get art of the image it was already taken on twitter we're at art of the image and obviously, we're artoftheimage.com online, so you can check us out uh, on Twitter or on Instagram there. And that, uh, as I said, the contest will be hosted on Instagram. Thanks, folks.